Hi and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be talking about the books that I'm most looking forward to reading in the year 2016. Now this is a fairly short list for me. I feel like I'm my attitude towards reading next year is more that I'm kind of going to read what I want more than looking for new releases but these are a list of some new releases that I am very 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 excited about and these are in no particular order. The first book on my list is The Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan. Now, I know that some people are kind of trashing Rick Riordan for writing another series. You really need these many series about Half-Bloods. I kind of agree with them, but on the other hand, I grew up with Percy Jackson. I've been reading the Percy Jackson books, I think, since 2008 now. And this series focuses on Apollo. He's done something wrong, gets put into a mortal body, and goes to live at Camp Half-Blood, and I think it sounds like a really interesting premise, and I'm going to give it a chance before I decide whether I like it or not. The next book on my list is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This is her companion series to The Mortal Instruments. I like The Mortal Instruments series. It's not one of my all-time favorites. I think that this one sounds interesting, and I'm definitely going to give it a chance. The romance between the two main characters, Emma and Julian, sounds very promising. And I'm hoping that it will be another good installment in the Shadowhunters world. The next book on my list is The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter. And I feel like this book is on like everyone's list because the Raven Cycle Quartet is a series that everyone loves. I'm probably in the majority in that I like this series. I don't love it. However, one of the main tenets of this series is a prophecy and the prophecy is going to come to fruition in the last book and I'm really interested to see how Maggie Steve Otter kind of goes about doing that and I feel like this is going to be a very epic conclusion to the series and I feel like it's going to tie it up very well but it's also going to pull at your emotional heartstrings. The next book is The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead, and I actually just heard about this book today from Reagan over at Peru's Project, but it sounds amazing. It's about a girl named Adelaide who lives in Elizabethan England and kind of gets transported to America to kind of learn how to either get a husband or get an arranged marriage. And I love historical fiction, especially from the Elizabethan time period. And this just sounds like a very kick butt book. And it sounds like it's going to have a very interesting romance as well. I really enjoyed the Vampire Academy and the Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead. So I'm interested to give this one a chance. Next on my list is When We Collided by Emery Lord, and if you guys did not see my favorite books of 2015 video, I'll link it down below, but her book Open Road Summer was one of my favorite books of the year, and this book is kind of more of an emotional contemporary, and I really enjoy Emery Lord's writing, and I feel like this is going to be another great contemporary. If you guys know me, you know that I love contemporaries, especially deep emotional ones, and it sounds like this one is going to be very good. Next on my list is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. I think I've read all of Morgan Matson's books. I've read Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, Second Chance Summer, and Since You've Been Gone, and I really liked all of those, and this one sounds especially appealing to me. I am studying political science in college, so... And that sounds really intriguing to me. Morgan Matson's contemporaries are always great, always super fun. And I actually got an advanced copy of this book from Edelweiss, so I may cheat and read this book before its release date, but I know that it is going to be another great Morgan Matson book. Next on my list is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, and this one actually comes out January 5th, so pretty soon. And I have read the first book in Susan Dennard's other series, Something Strange and Deadly, which is about historical fiction and zombies, and I like this series. But this one sounds like an epic fantasy series, and it sounds really, really interesting. And I know that some people have gotten advanced copies of it, and they've said it's really good, so I'm interested to pick up this one. I don't read a lot of fantasy, but the ones that I read, I usually end up liking a lot. And the last book on my list is Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. This book also comes out on January 5th, and it is about time travel, I believe. 
Now usually time travel books don't intrigue me. I feel like they're often boring and authors focus too much on time travel rather than on the plot but I really love Alexandra Bracken's Darkest Mind series. That's one of my favorite series so I feel like this book is going to be very good and I'm interested to try another series by her. So those are my most anticipated books of 2016 so let me know in the comments down below if you agree with any of mine or if you have other books that you're really looking forward to this year. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel and I hope you have a great day.